You can't go to Jerusalem without a permit. And luckily, I have a permit. Nicola, she just has an American passport. I mean, she's American, so right. she can easily come and go. So that's the difference between us. <laughs> it's kind of good that we're starting this business together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although Christina holds an American passport, the fact that she also holds a Palestinian ID card means that Palestinian travel restrictions apply to her. She can only travel to Jerusalem within certain times of the day, and her permit has a curfew of 9 p.m. And what made you move here, Nicola? I like so much about it here. I like the culture, the people, the food, you know. Women here, I feel, are so ultra-feminine, I guess, yeah. in their style, and I've grown to really like it, actually. What's the sort of process of us getting through this checkpoint? I can drive through in the car, but Tina has to get out and walk through on foot. Yeah, I don't get to stay in the car. <laughs> this is making me nervous. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> it's much worse to be in the traffic when there's tear gas and rubber bullets. When does that happen? Um, Any time. Yeah. It happens frequently. Like, there's often protests and demonstrations. Mm. What's going on? You guys actually are going to want to get down here. This is probably a good time to turn off the cameras. I decided to go through the checkpoint on foot into East Jerusalem with Christina and film it on my phone. We're going to cross on foot, and hopefully no one catches us filming. There are some guys heckling at us right now. <laughs> I need you to tell me when to put the camera down, yeah. I don't know if it's over here or on the next window. Okay. 